Hello everybody, Berto Guy here, and welcome back to Dungeon Tycoon. Alright, so in between episodes, um, <laughs> I just jumped on and I decided to go and get a new mob. And right off the bat, what did I get? I get the freaking gold spider. That's freaking awesome. So this is like a uh, legendary mob, and I boosted its level a little bit, so you get 218 gold that you can get from this thing, which is pretty awesome. I also uh, got rid of that other Hellhound, and I got a Scorch Jaw, leveled that one up, and this one does 70 gold, so that's not too bad. I ended up having to put three chests in here, so that way we have more than enough uh, gold being stored in there, which is great. Uh, over here in the boss room, I have uh, threw a whole bunch of chests down. I didn't lock any of them, I don't think it's really necessary. Um, I don't know if the locking of them gives you the money just as well as what's ever left in the chest. I think it's the same thing, right? I think just when you lock them, you, <clears throat> you're like guaranteeing the money. But then again, I can put another chest here too and I'll probably just leave all that open. And then it'll be a good money maker spot. So let's go and uh, start today and we'll do a uh, first run through together and see how everything runs. And then we'll start skipping days and stuff. And we'll do a run here and there together as we add stuff to it. <clears throat> but the group thing seems to be pretty good. It keeps everybody alive longer. Especially when they get to the boss. The boss just wrecks them. Just crazy. I like in the design so far there. We've got the different color rooms. Signifying that uh, these are rest stops. And then our dungeon floor is different from our main floor. And then as our boss floor is different as well. Kind of keep going with that same kind of pattern or whatever. Kind of like it. I think seems to be doing pretty damn good. So when they get to the boss, they, they get wrecked. Other than that, they seem to be doing pretty good prior to that. Everybody's using the, the potions and the rest stops and making me money, which is nice. Kind of glad that knowing that uh, the locking the chests and that's how you're getting all your extra money is, is absolutely amazing. It's always good to see. I thought it was really going to be dependent on how much they spend in these machines, and I was like, ooh, that's rough. Alright, so let's see what they do with the boss here. Everybody's coming to loot this one person. There we go. And there was a lot of gold. They wrecked him. I wonder if that was just because uh, there was a lot of gold guys in there. Pretty intense. I should probably put another chest in here with you, eh? Yeah, I don't think I got to this point where uh, I was missing two chests here. Everything's very good there. So they're making it to the end. That's good, that's good. Got a massive group of people here. See, like, none of them are really going to check any of the chests. They're just, like, walking right by, so... I'll take it. I shall take it. <coughs> I wonder why that is, though. Let's see. They're all full. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. They're doing really good. Still getting deaths, which is nice. That's important. Probably that's why I'm gonna get my deaths on my way back, maybe. Unless this guy just slaughters them, which is nice. Because we need a good balance between uh, death and money. Can't have too much money and not enough death. Then we won't be able to pay for our lock chests. We have 15, 15 of them every battle, every uh, round. So we gotta make sure that. Uh, we get at least 15 souls back from everything. I didn't even see what we started at. I should have looked. But it'll tell me at the end how many souls we acquired, so... Which isn't too bad. Everybody seems to be on their way out now. I 
Very nice, very nice. You gonna lose anybody else? Oh yeah, I think we're gonna lose a guy or two here before the, the end of this. There we go. And, oh, that uh, that gold one, uh, it's a run for their money. And there we go, toast. What did we unlock here? Oh yes, the uh, the bigger uh, health um, energy potions. Very nice. Made, uh, oh, it didn't show me how many deaths I made. I made a well over 20, because the last time I looked, it was in the 70s, right? So, all right, so we know this one is fully done. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. This one should be fully done. And now we're on this one. So that one's all done. So now, Doomforge, new boss already. Wow, that's crazy. That was a short, uh, a short run. And then after this is, you need to unlock the f this realm first. All right, all right, no worries. So that means we're gonna have to go and uh, buy this thing here. 50 souls and 5K, which isn't that bad really, but we'll keep her going. All right, so we'll skip a few battles here and uh, or a few battles, a few days, and we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah. We got the new boss. Good stuff. From the heart of the inferno, an ancient warrior emerges. Sweet. Uh, satisfaction's going up, and yes, I'm a, I'm a stupid. Yes, here's how many souls I made last round. Like, there, like big skull and crossbones right there. My God, sometimes I'm just I'm just not on another level. <laughs> All right, so we need to unlock this realm in order to continue. So let's do that. Let's go into the monsters, summon. Let's go to here, unlock that bad boy. And then we'll uh, start doing the research that area. It's a forest area. I'm kind of getting on the feeling that we're going to be very limited on what kind of mobs or how many mobs we're going to be putting out here. Because um, right now I've already hit my cap. So if we try to summon a new monster, go to the Inferno, we're at max. So yeah, I think that's kind of crappy that we're going to have like um, a max cap of mobs. So that means like all my doubles eventually I'm going to have to go back out and uh, get rid of them and trade them out in order to kind of continue on with the, um, with the thing that we're doing here. But yeah, that kind of sucks. That really does suck. Alright, um, we got 6k, can't really do much other than just keep going, so we'll just keep going. Very nice, got our first uh, pieces here. Mushroom, mushroom 2, mushroom 3, and a cave bush. Yes, everybody loves cave bush. Alright, 66 and 66, alright, that's, that's not bad, not bad. What do we got here? A fairy chest. An enchanted chest that heals heroes when opened. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, obviously we're going to want them uh, more money. So let's do that. Very nice. Very nice. Everybody's got deeper pockets. Spend that money. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so I did notice a few of these rooms have uh, only one chest in them, so I'm gonna go around and fix up these chests. And there's a couple of rooms here too that only have not full beautification, so that could help with our our max rating as well. So let me go ahead and do that. Alright, so I got a chest and a double chest in all the rooms now, I think. And I got them one locked in, I think, every room. So we're up to 23 souls now. Um, our rating has gone up, or it's going to go up quite a bit. I don't know if we can actually bring in any of these guys yet. Obviously, got to wait for that one. Yeah, still got to wait a little bit. 
All right, so we'll continue on with our day. Uh, we also have to get research going. Um, let's take the more monsters, definitely. So we got two more there. Uh, go with the visitors. Visitors are always good. All right, let's get her going. Awesome, awesome. Got more people. That's good. That's very good. 76 that time. Only 30 souls. Oof. That's rough. That's rough. Alright, so we're gonna invite our legendary guy. So it's gonna be this guy here. Uh, Chest of Midas. Hmm, interesting. Cool. Alright, so he'll be summoned at the end. He'll come as the last person, I believe. Let's go here. Um, give them more pockets. Why not? And then what we'll do is we'll summon those two new guys that we got last round. Uh, I don't know if I got that one yet. I did, apparently. Alright, summon another one. Oh, that was only really. Alright. Well, looks like we're going to be doing a couple of uh, get rid of's. Ugh, really? I think we already got the goat. Jesus. There's no that way that we got them all already. I'm gonna go look and see, uh, because we already got the baby Drake. Do, do, do. Let's go to our bestiary here. Unless those are like the other ones mixed in there too, but we don't have, I don't know. Looks like there, there'd be at least two more that we'd be missing. They look like rarities maybe, but that looks like the last boss. So they, they got them mixed. Not like the first ones where they all seem to be kind of like together. And then after that, they kind of get all mixed by the looks of it. All right, so I, I think I'm missing like two. Two kind of like rarity ones, so let's see if we can try to get them. We got a little bit of money here, so. Ah, oh, it was this one right here. It was an imp. Crap. right here. Okay, so here's one of them. It's an uh, imp. So we'll keep that guy. And we'll make a new room for him over here. And we'll put the imp here. Try to just keep variety. And at this point, I might have to start deleting our doubles down here in order to get the rest of the variety in here. Because that's kind of like very disappointing so far on how this is going. On how, how you're limited on uh, even mobs, which is pretty crazy. Anyways, let me build a new room for this guy. <clears throat> Alright, so we got our imp stuck in here now. So let's go and start our day. And yeah, see how that, that legendary hero does at the same time too. Ah, yeah, our hero is satisfied. Beautiful. All right, so now everybody's got deeper pockets. Like that, like that. 
spend that money. 58, 77. Not bad. Made almost 5k that round. It's pretty damn good. Alright, what else we got out here? This could be the last guy. So we'll just come down on this side here. And then I guess we just keep going. Could spend a little bit of money. Oh, I can't. 26, 26. That's really dumb. Very nice, very nice. Money, money from the monsters. I think more XP too. Or they're just cheaper to buy, I think. Very nice. I think he's doing pretty good. Let's go to the next one. Faster heroes. We get a new chest that heals. I'll go with the faster hero. What are the faster guys? Um, but lots of cash anyways, which is pretty insane. Awesome. Now they're going to move quite a bit faster, which is good. The faster they go through it, the better. Alright, so let's do... I guess we'll go with the, uh, the fairy chest there. And then at the same time too, since we're getting quite a bit of souls, let's, uh, let's make our guys a little bit harder. Let's start at the top of the list here. All right. Well, we pretty much well exhausted all of our our stuff, but we got a, a few, quite a few more to go. But I think this is going to help with the uh, with the guys dying too. We'll get more souls. Very nice. We got ourselves a fairy chest. Still making some pretty, pretty good souls right now. Could put those fairy chests in, but. Probably won't. Alright, uh, we'll just keep going up the row, I guess. We'll unlock everything that we can. And then at the end, when I get everything unlocked and we can see how many mobs we have, well then maybe we'll have to like restructure our entire thing just to, just to get the five star rating, right? Because that's pretty much all our main goal is to get the five star rating and make a really nice dungeon. So, but we'll do that probably when we get uh, all the um, all the research done. Because then I can see exactly how many mobs we're allowed to have. Like right now, it's looking like we're capped out at 26. So that's pretty crappy because in the end, you have way more than 26 mobs um, in your bestiary, right? So yeah. Anyhow, it'd be hard to unlock them all if. Uh, <laughs> if you can't summon them. Anyways, yeah, let's keep going. Alright, so... What does this one do? Oh yeah, the monsters drop more loot and stuff. Oh uh, yeah. Pretty good. It's going good. I'm losing souls though as I keep going. I'm not gaining as much. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to get rid of one of these. Oh, um, I didn't even notice that. Seriously. You can, uh, you can charge them more. That's friggin' hair. Oh, wow. I didn't even see that. <laughs> That's actually really cool. That's very, very cool. And then you can spend 30 so this vendor to a high quality one. That's interesting. You can make a crap ton of cash off of that. That's kind of worth trying to do. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this one, though. Uh, that one. And then we'll just have one here. And then I'm going to get rid of this one here, too, as well. Also, I'm going to trash these two things. Then that way they don't have as many buffs going in here. I think we're getting a lot of really higher level guys, so they're kind of walking through it a little bit now. So we need to uh, fix that. So there's our fairy chest. Heals people. Hmm. You know... I have to put one in here and there anyways. We'll do something like this. Near the end game there. 
There you go. Three little fairy chests at the end. I wanted to see what that uh, other one was too. Oh uh, yeah, there was the large dispensers. Large dispensers. All right, let's move this to the side. Trash that one. That's one room. That's why I never did change these ones out. I had three energy dispensers here. Why? <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll just do two there. Rest area and then a boss. Curse chest is someone who collects more money from the boss deaths. Oh. Interesting. 150 chest capacity. Wow. All right. So let's change these out. Alright, so I went around and I added these new chests, uh, these Midas chests. Oh my god, they're pretty damn good. Um, a cursed chest that somehow collects more money from hero's death. Um, they bring up the beauty of the place anyways. Um, they have a chest capacity of 150, and they're a lot smaller too. Um, so I just kind of traded them all out for the ancient chests that we had in here. And we'll just stack more money in here. Um, I could probably add a couple of more, honestly. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how this goes, and we'll see how much money we make this round. All right, so now they're more faster, which is good made four grand so I didn't lose that much money I was like making closer to five but I did gain more souls so that's fine I'm I'm okay with that little bit of a, a flip so oh right on two more all right so let's go and add two more monsters we're gonna get some more props afterwards so let's do props all right so let's go get some more monsters let's do that right now um we tried try to get the inferno one the one that's missing let's try Oh, I think this is it. Nice. Magma Golem. Beautiful. Alright. Um, that means the boss is already unlocked, right? Uh, for the other one. So if we go here to spawners, boss spawner, we choose which one. Alright, so we can do the next one and then the boss room. So let me set that up. All right, so we added the two new monsters. We got ourselves our, our fire golem guy here. I upgraded him to level three. This guy already comes at level five. He looks pretty sick. <laughs> that looks pretty awesome. Kind of like this room too. Um, next thing I'm going to go do is I'm going to unlock these chests and I'm going to go around and I'm going to lock all the Midas chests. So I'm going to do that and then we'll start the, uh, the area. That other group comes in there. Like they're not even fairly damaging. And he's able to stun them too. Oh, that's crazy. There you go, stun them again. This boss is brutal. That's great. a lot of guys coming in. Need 
he gonna walk away from this one? Doesn't look like it. There's a lot of guys left. Yep, I got him. And they didn't loot any of the chests. That's crazy. 150, 150, 150. That was beautiful. Very nice, very nice. Get some more decorations. For our forest, anyways. Mushrooms. <laughs> Vines, alright. Gotta have them most of those mushrooms. Couldn't give me anything else but mushrooms, I guess. 80 deaths that round. They only got uh, made 3 grand, though. Wow. Get some more visitors. One extra visitor. Sure, why not? Alright, so we only got a couple more to go before we get to that last boss, which is kind of disappointing. What else do we get here? Oh yeah, all those mushrooms. There we go. Now we get another person into the mix. Very nice, very nice. All right, 78, 61, been barely worth any opponents. All right, so the enchanter unlocks a new vendor that sells temporary buffs, and then the boss. We'll go for loot, and then he's complaining about the guys not being really worth fighting, huh? All right, so let's see if we can upgrade some more of our guys here we'll just start from the top and we'll just uh, I guess we'll just work our way down here but if I'm going to be getting rid of some of these guys I should really should really upgrade them then right so anything that's a double I shouldn't upgrade all right let's do that Alright, so we got more loot from the monsters, and they're a little bit cheaper to summon, the ones from the forest anyways. And that's pretty good. So let's keep her going, we'll take the souls I guess, and then we'll do the enchanter and we'll get the, we'll get that. And then we'll try to uh, slowly get rid of the ones that we have here as extras, um, which actually kind of reminds me. We have lots of extras. So anything that's not an extra. So did I already do a giant rat? No. Crawler, giant. So starting at the wraith, this wraith right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six enemies right here we can get rid of and uh, re-roll because that's pretty much all what we have left in here one two three four five six seven eight but if you do there's 28 here in total or 29 because the boss um, I don't know if the boss the boss doesn't count as a summoned enemy though which is kind of great I like that all right so let's keep going Beautiful. Now we get more souls per death. Well, a chance anyways. Which is very good. Alright. What else here? Well, we just got the enchanter left and then the last boss. I do... It's twice I forget to go and uh, get a new summon. So, oh, there's also this too. Um, if you look at this guy, it's hard to tell whether if he's going to go with the fire or if he's going to go with here. But he looks like he's got axes. So I'm assuming he might be more of a a next uh, next tier one. So let's start doing the forest ones. Start bringing these guys in. We'll go with that one. 
Nice plant. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. The other one's like a giant hornet. Nice, nice. Very cool. I like it. All right, so let's go build this thing a little place to, to go, I guess. We'll move this. <clears throat> All right, so we got our new little plant in here. Kind of nice. It's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, let's get her going. This is going to bring up our uh, our rating up to 4.5, which will means we'll be able to bring in another legendary guy, which would be good. And then I guess we can actually just finish this. Very good, very good. Now we got the enchanter one done. That's awesome. Alright, and then the last one's going to be is the Earthwing. Wow, nice. So that's pretty much all it. I guess we're going to be limited to that many that many people. Alright, so this guy is going to give us a cauldron. Nice. Alright, what's the last one give us? A Rebirth Stone. Interesting. So we'll summon him in and we'll start the day. Very nice. Now we got the last boss. That's very on. Very, very nice. Very nice. Let's see. Uh, there's another area. Well, apparently. There's something. But I don't see what. I don't think there's anything else. I think that was it. Because I think we got it all unlocked now. Underworld. So we got everything unlocked, all four stages. Nothing left to nothing left to research anymore. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find all of our doubles, we're gonna get rid of them, and we're gonna start getting the newer ones in. So we got to uh, take that one right here. The giant horn is one I gotta keep an eye on. There's the one with the axes I was talking about. Um, just because we need the the hornet hog chieftain. So we're going to have to go and delete two of these. Uh, this guy maybe? Yeah. And then we just have one more to try to find. Okay, what's he look like? So I get a kind of an idea of... I'm sure there's two more. One with like a hammer, and the other one looks like it's got a book in its hand. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. It's 25. It's 29. You got three bosses in there. So it should be like 26. Okay, so I'm still missing one. 
Giant horns. Alright, All right, let's try to get another one. Oh shit. Wrong one. What the hell was that? The slime? Okay, so here's the one with the book. So from what I can tell, we would have to sacrifice one of the other mobs in order to, to get this one out and to figure out what we're missing. Because we're only allowed 28 mobs and there's 29 in total. So yeah, that kind of really sucks. It means you're like, you're going to have to sacrifice probably one of your lower common ones, which probably wouldn't be a bad thing. Maybe we'll sacrifice the spider, I guess, and we'll see if we can, we can get the other one. There we go. The pumpkin mage was the last one that we were looking for. That's pretty cool. All right, so that took like uh, quite a few thousand dollars to uh, to try to unlock all of them, but now we got the whole bestiary unlocked, which is very nice. So what we'll do is we'll throw all these guys in. Uh, maybe give them a couple of levels each. do that for now and then we'll slowly work on bringing them up to par it means we got all of them but we can only have so many of them out right all right so let me go through all these guys in here and then once we make up a bunch of money we'll redesign the whole thing and we'll have one final one final run man All right, so I put in the last little bit of stuff here. I added an extra room for healing, and then I added the last boss, and then that's pretty much all what we got going here. And then let's start her up. I spent all of our money too. Um, so yeah, let's give her a whirl. All right, here come our first set of brave heroes that go through the, the end gauntlet. Let's see how, uh, how well they do. I don't think they're going to do that well. These guys are going to get slaughtered. Your backup has arrived just in time. Oh, he ran away. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You ain't killing me, fool. Alright, so they managed to kill him. Go get some well deserved rest and heal up. Gonna need it for your last battle. Put all the goodies in there so that way they had a chance. Well, they are. They are doing it. But he did take out two of them. Oh, is he gonna take out all three? It's like a fight to the death here. Oh, there we go. He, he conquered them. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. In the meantime, I think he heals there. Yeah, yeah. He heals in between battles. Oh, we got our five star rating. Oh, 4.93. Seriously? All right, so we're gonna go and we're gonna get the uh, the last one here. It's gonna give us a Reaper Stone of Talion. All right, and then I think that's it. Oh, we're, yeah, we're still trying to get that last 4.3 rating. I don't know what we can do to bring up that. Could just maybe throw in a a random room at the end. All right, so now, now we got our 5.0 rating. I just threw like a room at the end here that has kind of like a, a healing and 
a place to rest with a bunch of those treasure things here. These are just like for decoration only. No, no something, anything special. All right, so that's pretty much what our five stars now. So that should uh, get us to the end. Congratulations, Dungeon Keeper. Your dungeon has reached five stars and its reputation is widely known. Filled your role and only took you 10 hours. Impressive. I've done it in seven, so it's not that impressive. <laughs> I'm sure people have done it a whole lot faster, too. Oh, our legendary hero failed. He wasn't satisfied with our dungeon. Well, that's not good. We'll have to redo that. <clears throat> so I put in some healing wells all over the place. Um, we'll see if that helps keep our guys alive from not dying as much and especially that uh, hero that's coming in. Maybe that's why he died. I don't know if he uses the facilities or if he just runs right on through. I'm not really sure. Alright, so after quite a while of playing around, this is kind of the dungeon we got going on now. I think this is a pretty nice little setup and layout. So we'll start the day on medium and we'll kind of go through just all the way to the end um, together and check it out and see how it flows well. I think it did a pretty good job. There's a few things I could have like changed a little bit, made some of the rooms a little bit bigger just so I could add more like buff stuff in them for them. But uh, you know, other than that, I think it uh, was a good, was a good flow uh, overall. Good balance between making cash and uh, getting um, souls. So and the guys are leveling up a lot. Um, most of my my guys here are like level five. Just got like the guys at the end here to work on. But other than that, we're doing pretty good. A lot of heals I put all over the place, the large ones, so that way uh, they can get good to keep their health up. And then that way they also can buy a bunch of potions as well. So it's giving them a balance of me spending money and then giving them some free health along the way so they stay alive. That way at least they make it to the, a boss or whatever. Without all these heals, they, they don't make it. <clears throat> Keep her going, keep her going. Don't wait for the other crew. Horrible. Oh, ganging up here. I think good. Alright, they're gonna separate a bit there. That's good. Very nice, very nice. I don't like when they're all too many, too many grouped up together. It's going well, it's going well though. We'll get some buffs, go fight the boss. The boss's health seems to go down pretty good. Took that group out. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Next. I mean, depending on how fast they get in there, see, that's what it's going to change around for the boss. And you have three groups in there right now, which is pretty shitty, but. I guess it'll thin out as they, they start killing them. I do have a respawn at the beginning, but I think most of the guys, how it happened, they respawn and then they just screw off. Which is not a bad thing. I got two groups going on here. These are the guys that I need to level up more. They seem to walk through them pretty quick, so. They're all level one, so. If I would make these guys quite a bit tougher, they'd be, they'd be in a little worse shape by the time they got to the boss. Another room I could have made bigger. I was trying to stick to like three different type of room types. Uh, 10 by 8s, 9 by 9s, and the 6 by 12s, and then all the bosses I wanted to do like 15 by 15. So. 
But I find the other hog corridors are just too skinny. There's can't really do much with them. I wanted to like put at least a like, heal or something inside them so that way they can like maintain their their health. Overall, I think we got a good uh, good balance going on here. And then, like I said, they got to come all the way back through all of that too. So, could gain more more deaths along the way. Oh, they're not going to do that stuck thing, are they? Oh yeah. Yeah, I might have to move this this out of the way. This is what I mean it's really close to the top of the screen and for some reason things just bug out here, so I might just have to get rid of that. Damn it. Yeah, Cause they're gonna lose Stanima. Which is really weird, eh? Hell of a bug. And then, well, at least they keep going. But, lost two members of their group because of Stanima, because they got bugged out in the top corner. So yeah, I guess that's, I guess, a bug in the game. Which isn't really good. I had to move all the chests away from the top because it was doing the same thing here. They'd all get stuck. I don't know. It's almost like, it seems like the, the edge of the map was closer than what it was, but... I don't know. I think we got a pretty good flow here. Other than this little hiccup here in the corner. As long as people don't stop at it, right? Yeah, see, this is where it could be a problem. But that's fine. But other than that, I think we got a pretty damn good, uh, a good dungeon going on here. It was a lot of fun. It's a pretty good little game. You can get lost in it there pretty well, but uh, I think that's going to be the end of our little bit of a series here because it's uh, you know pretty much well unlocked everything. There's no new bosses and all that crap. So, but I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe, peace, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.